Perfect. So, good morning, everyone. Naririnig po ako. Maayos. Naririnig po ako na maayos. Yes, sir. Okay po. So, welcome to Business Finance, week one of our court grading. So, ilang linggo na tayo kasi mauna naman kayong uh, grade 12 na mag-exam dahil kayo ay graduating. Hopefully, mag-graduate. Marami pang hindi nagpapasa na activity. Yung mga nagpasa na activity, wait lang po, uh, kay hindi po ibig sabihin na hindi ko po sinisin, ibig sabihin hindi ko nire-recognize. Uh, hindi ko lang po sinisin talaga dahil hindi ko pa sinecheck. Para lang alam ko kung kanino. Uh, sino, sino pa yung hindi ko nire-check. Kaya hindi ko sinisin. Okay? So, wait lang po tayo. Uh, Masi-check ko rin po yun. Okay, so for today, um, I'll be having our new topic. Our new topic for today is value of money. Um, pag sinabi natin value of money, so ano yung halaga ng pera mo? Okay, so paano ba nababago ang halaga ng pera in terms of business finance? Definitely, um, nababago ang, ang halaga ng pera lalo kapag atin po itong in-invest. Technically, your 10,000 might depreciate kung nalugi ang atin pong investment and pwede naman siyang lumaki kapag atin pong in-invest at uh, naging tama yung investment natin. So, ibig sabihin, from the original price now, maari siyang lumaki or maari siyang lumiit depende sa interest na makukuha natin during the investment. So, ano ba yung tinatawag natin Interest. Interest is the common and the primary factor when you invest or borrow money from a financial institution. The value of money, uh, as well as its purchasing power, can be influenced by economic factor such as inflation, yung know, pagtaas ng uh, pagtaas ng bilihin, cost of goods, uh, halaga nga po ng our national global crisis like COVID-19 pandemic na nangyari ngayon. So, as of now, inflation, mataas ang inflation kasi pataas ang presyo lahat ng goods. So, ibig sabihin, bumababa ang value ng money natin kasi mas konti yung nabibili natin. Okay? Due to such reason, interest is computed using the present or future time value. The concept of present and future value considered the following. Principal, interest rate and time period which is PRT um nagkaroon na po kayo ng business math at ah, ito general mathematics nung grade 11 yes sir apo and i hope uh, hopeful ako na discuss na sa inyo ang interest sa general mathematics tama ba Nag-discuss kayo ng interest? Pero hindi nyo masagot ha. Okay. So there are two kinds of interest that we have. We have the simple interest and the compounded interest. And uh, yun lang yung babalikan natin for today. So how do we get the value of money after um, simple interest rate and after compounded rate? So let's start first with a simple interest rate. Okay, so the simple interest rate um, is a product of principal amount multiplied by the period interest rate, which is written as I equals PRT, which is interest is equals to principal times rate times time. Take, please take note of that. I equals PRT. Interest is equals to principal rate and time. So, ibig sabihin, from the principal, kapag nadagdagan, nadagdagan mo na yung I mo, which is your interest, P plus I, or principal plus I, equals your future value. That will be your future value. Na idagdag na natin yung interest from the present value. Okay? So, katulad po nito, um, example natin, dinalu Dinalulugi Corporation deposits 100,000 in a BCO bank with an annual interest rate, 10% annual interest rate, which is just an, uh, simple. After one year, it becomes 110,000. Uh, 100,000 is the principal. Sabi nga natin, ang nilagay natin ay 100,000 as our principal money na ipinasok natin sa banko. Uh, umandar ang 10% 
uh, 10% rate annually and after one year, tumubo uh, siya ng 10,000. Okay? Which is the 10% of our 100,000. So, our future value now is 110,000 and thus the peso, peso today would increase in the future because of the interest. So, pakita lang natin how it become 110,000. So, let's start first with computing our interest. Sabi nga natin, interest is equals to PRT, principal times rate times time. Diba? So, our principal is 100,000. 100,000 times our interest rate is 10%. Which can also be written as 0.1, uh, 0.10 or 0.1. Na matutay mag hopefully maroon tayo mag convert into uh, percentage to decimal. And sabi natin after one year, so this is our time. Okay, so one is one. So that is 100,000 times 0.10. 100,000 times 0.10 times 1, that will become 10,000. So, ibig sabihin, our interest is 10,000 at a simple rate and our future value now will be uh, principal plus interest. So, that will be 100,000 100,000 plus 10,000. So our future value is 110,000 pesos. Clear po yun? Kung paano nangyari? Yes po, sir. Yes po, sir. And hopefully maliwanag po siya. No? Okay. So any question with this? Wala po. Wala naman po. Let's have another given. Okay. Yeah. You have an excess money after the holiday seasons, amounting to 5,000 pesos. You consider depositing it in the bank. The bank offers you a simple interest rate, which is 12% per annum. If you deposited your money nine months from now, what is the future value and show your competition? So please take note of, of the following. So what is our principal? Ano ang principal? 5,000 po, sir. That will be 5,000. That's correct. 5,000. What is our rate? Or R? 12% po equals to uh, 0.12 po. Okay po. That's 12% per annum. Please take note of that. That is our rate. 12% per annum. Ibig sabihin ng per annum? Per year. Okay? Nangyayari ang 12% per year. Okay? So, or simply... 0 0.12, 0 0.12 per year. Then we have our time, uh, PRT. What is our time? Kano katagal yung pinag-uusapan natin? Nine months po. Nine months. So, kung mapapansin nyo, um, hindi pattern o hindi parallel ang ating rate at saka time. Kasi ang rate natin is per year while our time naman is months. So we have to change the time into uh, into year. Okay po, paano natin gagawin yun? So ilan bang months meron sa isang year? There are 12. So kailangan natin i-change yan. So ibig sabihin, 9 of, out of 12. So or simply, 3 fourths. Three parts year, okay. Three parts year lang to. Hindi pa siya nakabuo ng isang taon. So kailangan natin i-change hat. Kailangan natin sumunod sa rate, okay? Yun ang susundin natin yung rate. So this is nine months. So I change that into the year, and it means three fourth year or point seventy five, okay? So let's so first with the interest. Ah, uh, yung interest natin. Yung interest natin is five thousand. 5,000 times 
our interest rate, which is 0.12, times our time, which is 3 fourth, can also be written as 0.75. Tama? 0.75. So can you please compute our for our interest? If you want to calculate and do that. Ano pa? 450 po. 450. And so our interest is 450 pesos. But the question is, what will be its future value? So your future value will equal to 500 of uh, 5,000 plus 450, which is our interest. So our future value will be 5,400. Fifty. Clear po tayo? Yes, please, sir. Clear? Question? May question po? Wala po. Okay po. So ito lang po ang sabihin ko ha. Please be uh, mindful of our time and our date. It should be on the same um, amount, uh, unit of time. Okay po kung monthly, monthly. Okay po kung uh, semi-annually, it means every six months. Quarterly is every three months. And we have per annum, which is every one year. So kailangan natin ipattern doon. Ano po? So clear natin to. Let's have the next one. So when we talk about the compound interest, the compound interest is computed for both principal and interest as accumulated in prior periods. That's the, this is the difference. Pag sinabi natin kasing simple interest, um, from the idea ng, manyari, ngayon, um, manyari, sampung piso ang pera ko. Kung sampung piso ang pera ko at ang interest rate ko ay 10%, ibig sabihin, ang 10% ng sampung piso ay 1%. So next year, magiging 11 yon. Pag nag, 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 nasundan ulit ng another year, matatagdan ulit ako ng piso, which is another 10% of 10 pesos. That will be 12. Then magiging 13, magiging 14, magiging 15. Nagiging consistent ang ating pong interest based sa ating principal. But the compound rate is different. Paano po siya naging different in a, in a idea na kanyari this year, um, I have 10 pesos, kunyari 10 piso yung pera ko. Ngayon, kinuha ko yung 10%, which is 1 peso, that will be 11 next year. Okay? Kung 11 siya next year, ano yung sunod na year? Hindi po 10% lang ng 10 pesos ang kukuha niya natin, kundi kasama na sa kinukompute na magiging principal mo, kasama na yung interest. Now, it becomes 11. 11 times 10%, that becomes 1.1. So, ganun po ang compound interest. Hindi na sa principal nag nagbebays, kundi kung ano ang pressure niya of that certain year plus the interest. Okay? So, it is computed by principal and interest accumulated in prior periods. Yun sinasabi natin. The process of determining future value is computed is compound interest is called compounding. Using compound interest will yield you a higher value than just using simple interest. Let's have an example. Okay. The ABC deposited 10,000, uh, 100,000 in BCO for two years with an annual interest rate of 10,000. On its first year, it will earn 10,000 from the principal, thus becoming 110,000. And in the second year, it will earn 10% interest from 110. Kung map 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 mapansin nyo, hindi na 100 yung naging basis natin ng 10%. Kundi yung 110,000, which is yung value yung nakaraang taon, which is the 100,000 plus 10,000, which is 110,000, yun ang kukuha na natin ng 10%, that becomes 11%. 11,000, kaya siya 11,000 plus uh, 110,000, that becomes 121,000. Kung magkukontinue pa siya next year, 
So, ibig sabihin, yung 121,000 na ang kukuha na natin ng price value ngayon. That's 121,000 times 10%, that would become 12,100. And kapag yung tinagdag natin yung 12,100 sa 121,000, kung ano makukuha doon, yun ang dadagdagan ulit natin ng peso. That is what we call compound interest. Okay? So, pakita lang natin kung saan pinagdaanan niya. Okay? It started with 100,000. With 100,000. So, i-compute natin by simple interest. By simple interest. So, that becomes 100,000 times... 10%, which is 0.10 times 1, that becomes 10,000. Diba? 10,000. Pero ang naging future niya after that one year is 100,000 plus 10,000 is 110,000. So this is the future value after one year. Future value after one year is 110,000. Okay. Pero sabi kasi 2 years So we have to continue So after 110,000 Ito ang kukuhanin mo 110,000 Times 0.10 Times another 1 year So that becomes 11,000 11,000 So ito naman idadive that ko sa 110,000 110,000 plus 11,000 so that becomes 121,000. So kung iyan ang ganyan ang process natin, ang makukuha mo after 2 years is 121,000. But let's use our formula which is the future value N equals P times 1 plus I times N which is our I is our interest rate times our n, which is the number of uh, yung time natin, yung pinaka-time natin. So katulad nito, let's solve for that, the future value, diretso tayo agad sa future value. Future value is equals to 100,000 100,000 times 1 plus 0.10 raised to 2. Kasi 2 years ang, ang pinag-uusapan natin. So let's solve for that. That's 100,000. That becomes 1.1 squared. Okay? Then that's 100,000. 1.1 times 1.1. What's 1.1 times 1.1? 1.21 Then 1 point This is 1.21 Diba? 1.21 yan So 1.21 times 100,000 So that becomes 121,000 Pesos Pareho lang So This is a shortcut Diba? Kung ayaw mo magmano-mano na pagkakompute every year kung ano magiging presyo niya, you can continue with PBN. We have our future value in compounded, uh, in compounded uh, interest, which is P times the quantity 1 plus I raised to N, where your I is your interest rate and N is your number of units. So that becomes 100,000 times 1 plus 10 squared. So 0.10 squared. So that's 1 plus 0.10. That's 1.1. 1. 1.1 1. 1 times 1.1 1. 1 is 1.21. 1.21 times 10,000. Ah, 100,000. That becomes 121,000. Same with the uh, process of nasa kanan natin. Okay. So nasa inyo po. No anong paraan susundin nyo? You can take it manually every year. Ang gagawin nyo from the Future value after one year, idadagdag natin sa interest uh, sa ang interest sa principal, then yung kukuha na natin ng bagong rate, then ganun po dagdag ulit, dagdag ulit hanggang ma ma maharating tayo sa year na pinag-uusapan natin. Or you can simply continue with 
the formula using phi b n equals p times the quantity one plus i raised to n. Question. Clear po tayo? Yes po, sir. Okay po. Okay ko lang to. Okay, let's try this one. Given the principal amount of 5,000, how much will be the future value if it will be deposited in another bank with a computed interest rate of 12% per annum for at least one and a half year? So our, present, uh, our principal is 5,000. Our principal is 5,000 with an interest rate of 12% compounded annually, compounded annually, pero ang ating time is one and a half year. Or simply three over two. O ito change natin into fraction. Or kung ito change natin into decimal, that becomes 1.5. So let's find the future value. The future value, of n will equal to um, p times 1 plus r raised to n. So that becomes 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.12, 0 0.12 raised to 1.5. So let's solve muna ito which is 5,000 is 1.12 raised to 1.5. So what is 1.12 raised to 1.5? Do you have your calculator with you? Now this 1.12 raised to 1.5 Yan. Pwede na natin siyang idiretso at i-multiply na natin siya sa, kasi medyo malaki yun, it will be 1.1852965, kung ano man yan, 258658. Okay. Itatimes natin siya ng, ng 5,000. So, doon tayo sa normal naman. So, uh, the future value will be 5,926.48 pesos. That will be our future value of 5,926.48 pesos after one and a half year. Clear po tayo kung ano nangyari? Yes po, sir. Ay po. Definitely, it's a must that you use um, scientific calculator here. Okay? So may mga nadadownload naman tayo ng scientific calculator and kung meron kayong self-aid scientific calculator na inyo mas maganda. So sa mga uh, hindi pa nakakapag-download, search nyo lang po sa inyo pong um, Play Store the word calc calc es okay? calc es yan yan po yung scientific calculator na maayos calc es sa Play Store okay Calc ES. Okay. So, hopefully, maliunwanag na po iyan. Let's have the last one. Yan. Moderna shop expects to receive 110,000 from a bank one year from now. If the discounted rate is 10%, what is amount does the shop have to invest today? So, kung mapansin nyo naman, 
this is after one year lang. So it doesn't uh, really matter whether it's compounded or simple dahil after one year lang naman. So the difference happened after one year. Kung siya compounded, mas lalaki yun. Kung hindi siya compounded, uh, in a normal sense siya. Since this is after one year, so we'll take this as normal as simple interest. Okay? So, balik tayo. Ang tinatanong dito, ano raw po yung uh, what amount does the shop have to invest today? So, so ang sabi dito, the Moderna shop expect to receive 1,100 from the bank one year from now. So, ibig sabihin, the future value, the future value natin is 110,000. Ay, 100... 1,100. Pero tandaan natin, the future value comes from the idea of anong, that will be principal plus interest. Diba? Principal plus interest. Then, ano ang interest? Principal plus PRT. Diba? Ang interest natin is PRT. So, in this case, pwede natin tayo mag, uh, maghanap tayo dito. Ang sabi, ang hindi natin alam kasi dito ay ang ating pong principal. So, that will be 1,100. Kung mapapansin natin, both may P to. So, pwede ako maglabas ng P. Gamitin natin ang idea ng algebra. This becomes 1 plus RT. Okay, pat ko naging 1 plus RT. Kinuha ko, both sila may P. So, inilabas ko yung P. P divided by P, that's 1. P RT divided by P is RT. So, that is 1,100 equals P 1 plus, anong rate natin? Anong rate natin? People, anong rate? Po, That's 10%. 10%. That becomes 0 0.1. 0 0.1 and 0.10. Times our time. Anong time natin? After? One year. ba? So that's 110,100 uh, 1, is equals to P times 1 plus 0.10 times 1. That's 0.10. So this becomes 1, 100 equals P times 1.1 or 1.10. So ito na lang i-divide natin divide by 1.1, 1.1. So what is 1.1, 1,100 divided by 1.1? 1, 1,100 divided by 1.1. 1. 1. 1,000. 1, that will be 1,000. Very good. So that becomes 1,000. So, so our principal is 1,000 pesos. So, so I'm expecting that you know how to use your uh, uh, your formula. Ayan yung paglaroan ng formula nyo. Depende kung ano nawawala. Okay po. I have given you the formula. Pag, inter pag simple interest, I equals PRT. At kung gusto mo makuha ang future value ng simple interest, that is principal times I. Plus I. Principal plus I. But if we're talking about the main, um, our compounded interest, we have the formula PBN. Is uh, FBN pala. FBN future value in compounded equals P times 1 plus R raised to N. Okay? So, hopefully, na maliwanag po tayo. I'll be sending you an activity sheet kung saan sasagutan nyo po ito. But please take note na pagdating po natin sa number 8, 9, and 10 na ibibigay, nat na ibibigay ko, number 8, 9, and 10, ay kailangan nyo gawin ang simple rate at saka ang compound rate then 
compare. Okay po, titignan natin kung saan mas kailangan nyo pong pareho gawin ang simple rate at saka ang compound rate. Okay? Para po makita nyo. Wait lang. Okay. Hanapin ko lang ha. Hanapin ko lang yung activity. Ito. Let me share screen. Yan. So, ito yung i-compute natin. Nakikita po? Yes, please. Yan. So, from 1 to 7. Yan. So, nakalagay naman dyan whether it's simple or compounded. So, isa lang po ang gagawin natin dyan. But pagdating natin sa 8 to 10, compare the amount you have for whether the given is uh, compounded versus uh, compounded annually, compounded annually versus quarterly. Okay? Right? Uh, the true problem. So, ibig sabihin, um, nangyayari po dito, Ay, uh, mali pa rin sinabi ko kanina ang rate po natin na bago pala compounded annually ibig sabihin nangyayari yung 10% nangyayari yung 10% every year annually or ang isa nyo pang gagawin, gagawin ay compounded quarterly ibig sabihin dumalaki ang presyo or, or dumalaki ang uh, dumalaki ang price o makukuha niya yung 10% every 3 months Okay po, kaya po quarterly. Every three months lalaki. So, ibig sabihin, if you have your five years here, so ilang three months yon. Sige nga po, may ilang three months sa five years. So, ilan yung end mo doon? Sa so, isang taon, may ilang three months? Apat po sir. Apat. Eh, ilan sa five years? 20 po. 20. So, ibig sabihin, your N is 20. Pag annually, your N is 5. Pero pag, uh, pag uh, quarterly, your N is 20. Pag 3 years, pag annually, ilan ang N mo? 3 Pag annually, po. ilan ang N mo? 3 po, sir. 3. Kapag kapag quarterly, may ilang quarter sa 3 years? 12 po. That will be 12. That's correct. Lastly, your 30,000 at 30 years. Kapag annually, anong end mo? 30 po. Kapag quarterly, ilan ang end mo? 120, sir. 120. That's correct. So, ibig sabihin, uh, what you will be using N as 120. Please take note, 8 to 10 are compounded compounded interest. Okay po? So, you have to use PBN is equals to P times the quantity 1 plus R raised to N. Okay? Dalawa nga lang ang gagawin mo per number. Compounded annually and compounded quarterly. Okay? Clear po? Clear po tayo? Question? Do you have any question? Wala na po sir. Okay po. So I'll be sending this to your group. So thank you for attending everyone. Bye-bye po. Thank you po sir. Thank you po Salamat sir. Salamat po sir. Bye. Thank you po sir. Bye.